Well, I've wanted to be a writer for as long as I can remember. Um, my first short story was posted on the wall in City Hall, the small town where I grew up. I was very proud of that. As I got older, I thought I could not be a professional writer because writers were special people and I just didn't have what it took. And then I had a job, I worked in publishing for a while and I got fired from my job in publishing with good reason. I was not very good at it. And an editor friend said, all you ever talk about doing is writing. Why don't you try it? And I tried it. And I'm not suggesting the rest is history by a long shot. Um, there were a lot of dead ends. I did a lot of freelance work. I ghosted many, many books, which was a learning experience. And, um, and with each, with each rejection, as well as each accepted book, I learned more about my craft, and that was, that was wonderful. I mean, the process of writing, for me, is great fun. It's sometimes extremely painful, but when it's going well, it's, it's so exhilarating. The Unwitting, I came to it through the period after World War II, um, and I think the, the, the initial attraction was that it was a very secretive period. Secrets were kept. And with all that's going on with, uh, in, in the U.S. and also here um, with recording data and collecting data on citizens, I started to think how odd that then you were, if you were going to be a patriot, you kept your mouth shut. You didn't tell people what you knew. And now, in many circles, it's thought patriotic to spill the beans. So I thought that that was very interesting, but I wasn't going to write a treatise on, on this sort of thing or a historical comparison of the two. I had to do it again through individuals and I came up somehow they came to roost in my mind as a couple who were involved in the cultural cold war. I often don't know the real reason I'm writing the book, the hunger inside me that drives to tell this story. And about halfway through this book I found that I was really interested in writing about a marriage, in what holds a marriage together, what tears it apart, how people live with each other. Uh, they can love each other very much but it's not sunny every day and they can fight like cats and dogs and still love each other. Uh, so this became more and more important to me. It was a story, it was a political story, but it was also a story of a marriage. As far as basing characters on people I know, I don't. However, the first scene in The Unwitting where he's humming is my husband. Every friend who read it said, oh my heavens, there's Stephen. <laughs> I, I do a lot of research. Research is fun. I love research. I love libraries. <laughs> And I start generally with, with very general histories of the period, accounts of the period, um, nonfiction accounts. Then I move on to personal memoirs that are very, very helpful. Then I start to go into archives. But one of the most useful um, aspects of, of this kind of research is, and this is because it's the recent past and not a long time ago, magazines and newspapers, you can get lost in those. And it tells you so much about the period. And it, as well as, you know, on one hand you're reading a column about an event at the time and right next to it is an ad for a dress your protagonist might be buying, how much she'd pay for it, what she'd wear, that sort of thing, and that's very useful. I work in writers' rooms in two libraries. One is the New York Public Library, which is a wonderful, massive building. It's one of the great libraries of the world. And there's a, there are three different rooms for writers, different levels, and uh, it's a small room with carols, and I work there. And then there's a small, sub, smaller subscription library, which is one you pay to join, which is old. It was, I think, the second library in the States. And um, they have a writer's room as well. And I go there, I walk there in the morning, and I walk home in the evening, and I prepare myself to write, or I unwind from writing. The other place I get a lot of work done is running. I run in Central Park. If I'm having trouble with a scene, I start to think about how to work it out, uh, plot problems. It, it's a one, you're isolated from everyone else, and, uh, and the best time, of course, for running is when you spin out or phase out and are not thinking about running. You're just living in your own head. <laughs>